What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be looking at the entire electric vehicle sector and all of the stocks that are involved within this sector. We're gonna be looking at if there's a great buying opportunity, if there's a great investment opportunity presented with these companies. I'm also gonna be going over NEO and Workhorse stock. What are the exact anticipated price moves expected by these two companies when they report earnings? So we're gonna look at exactly what are the price points these stocks can potentially move either to the upside or to the downside. I'm also gonna be covering all of the important information that you need to stay up to date with the entire electric vehicle sector. So if you're a person that is passionate about investing in companies that help the environment, or you just wanna stay up to date with all this electric vehicle sector stocks, make sure you stay till the end of the video because this video contains important information that you need to know. So now let's get right into it. All right guys, so before we get into the video, make sure you smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. So the first stock that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be ticker symbol PLUG. I covered this company in the past when it, when it had an initial break out of the $6 area. Right now, as you can see, it's staying up at $11.28. It reported earnings and they did really well so that's why you see the stock is up significantly and it broke out of the ten dollar area that it recently had a resistance point over here so this stock can potentially move to the upside in the future there's high potential for growth in these all of these electric vehicle companies that we're going to be covering but on the short term it's overextended a little bit so we need to wait for it to pull back if you want to get involved in this company to the ten dollar area if it can stay above and hold this price point this is a great opportunity to buy by risking the ten dollar area so this is really really important that you need to price need to respect the ten dollar area for us to get involved in it and risk that area so if it goes below ten dollars we can cut our losses and we can potentially wait if, if it pulls back to all all the way down to the seven dollar or to the eight dollar area since there's good support at these price points now let's move on to the second stock the second stock is ticker symbol blnk now this is involved in the electric vehicle sector by providing charging stations now there's a huge potential for this company to expand in the future when all of these companies start producing lots of electric vehicles there needs to be charging station across the united states so this company is main focus to provide these charging stations across the u.s so as you can see we also covered this company in the past when it broke out of the eight dollar area right around over here and it's currently sitting at eleven dollars and 85 cents the $10 area is where price pulled back and bounced back to the upside. So we can definitely risk the $10 area to get involved in it if it could potentially pull back again. So if you want to get involved in it for the long term or for a quick short term swing trade, it's really anticipated to for the price to pull back to $10 area for us to get involved in it. But however, if you see potential in the long term investment in this company, of course, you can just buy at any at any price point in time because you are you are in it for the long term. So now let's move on to the third stock, which is NEO. They're expected to report earnings on August 11 pre-market. So they're expected to move 18% either to the upside or to the downside. So if they report a positive earnings, their price point expected to reach $15.84, which is going to be right around over here. And if they do not report a positive news or they have a huge stumbling block and their earnings are pretty bad, or if the stock just eventually decides to sell off, even if they report positive earnings, they are expected the stock to move to $11, so which is right around over here. So there is a huge move expected to happen on August 11 on NEO stock. So we're definitely going to keep an eye on it. So the other stock also reporting earnings is going to be ticker symbol WKH. S. So the anticipated price move for this company is 17% either to the upside or to the downside. So if the stock decides to spike up on earnings, it can potentially hit the price point of $19.40. And if there is negative news or if the stock decides to sell to the downside, the stock is expected to reach $13.64. So these are the anticipated price moves expected by these two companies. So these are the important levels that we need to watch for both of these companies. So now let's move on to the third stock, which is going to be ticker symbol DPHC. Now this is a SPAC, a blank check company. They recently announced that they're going to be merging with Lordstown. So as you can see, this positive news spiked the stock up to $16. I know a lot of people got involved in it when they 
heard that the news just came and broke out the first day that it went and it hit the $15 so people start buying it unfortunately it's pulling back to the downside so it's a great opportunity if you want to get involved in it in the short term because there is potential for this company in the future when they complete the merger so however the stock can still go to the downside but right now it's dipping to the downside so it's a great opportunity if you see there's going to be a potential to buy and hold it for the future until the merger date is announced pretty soon so the other also blank check company is going to be shll which is hylion is expected to merger with towards acquisitions they are expected to merge in q3 2020 around september so this stock has a huge pullback to the downside it's still trading right around below that 20 dollars area so there's still no news that came out that really stimulated the stock to go to the upside however we're definitely going to expect the stock to move potentially move to the upside when the merger date starts to approach and when the merger eventually gets completed so the another black check company with spac play is ticker symbol spaq which is Spartan energy acquisitions corporation ticker symbol spaq now this is also going to be doing a merger with fisker so this company also a lot of excitement happened with it it reached top of like twenty dollars and now it's pulling back all the way to twelve dollars so it's providing a really great discount all of these back plays are providing really really solid discounts if you see there's huge potential on these companies anticipation that these SPAC plays are going to have the same amount of moves that just we just witnessed on Nikola stock so that's why people are buying and getting involved with them if you believe in that narrative of course there's great opportunity so we're definitely going to be waiting and seeing if that history is going to repeat itself again so another company of course which is the leader of this entire electric vehicle sector which is going to be Tesla stock it's having a really really solid breakout that it had over here it's just consolidating above the $1,400 above that $1,400 area it's really not moving up and down it's currently sitting at $1,452.71 they're expected to have their battery date in September so expect this huge move to come in this company but in the short term they, had, they reported earnings they beat earnings unfortunately the stock sold down so that giving an opportunity for people that want to invest in it however the stock still kind of overpriced a little bit so we'll see what's going to happen in the future and see if this stock is going to break out of the highs that I made around $1,800 when they announced this huge news on battery day so the other companies that are we're going to be talking about is going to be all of them is going to be penny stocks we have first we got tickers number FUV which is Arkimoto as you can see it had a pretty fantastic run up until eight dollars it hit a resistance over there and it's pulling back to the downside so it had a very solid support over here so this is really fantastic i love to see setups like this because price respected the area over here which is six dollars so we can definitely risk the six dollar area to get involvement over the long term and had a recent spike to seven dollars pull back again so if you want to get involved in it even on the short term or on the long term you can definitely risk this price point area to see our first profit target for the price to go to around eight dollars which is going to be the resistance area over here so that is really solid risk reward and this company so there's getting definitely going to be a good swing trading opportunity and also if you believe in this company in the future a great entry price point over here by risking the six dollar area over here so the other company we're going to be looking at also is a penny stock which is going to be ticker symbol s o l o there's been a lot of hype in this company it hit the top of like six dollars and is now all the way down to three dollars so it, re it just lost 50 percent of the gain that it made and it's currently sitting as three dollars so this is exactly where the price point that it broke out of which is the three dollar area you know prices trying to respect this area so i don't see any kind of positive news that's going to potentially stimulate another run to the upside so we'll see exactly what this company is going to be announcing pretty soon but we're going to definitely going to keep an eye on it but insider ownership definitely is 47.9 percent so there's a lot of insider ownership pretty soon but overall the year-to-date performance of the stock is really fantastic it's up 42 percent for the year and if we can continue to go to the upside if positive news comes out in the future the stock definitely has potential to spike to the upside so the other company that we're going to be looking at is going to be ticker symbol KNDI. I covered this company recently and we talked about this company also when it had initially had a breakout right around over here when it was around $4 with a potential anticipation that positive news might come out to spike it. Of course, it went all the way to $16 
and it pulled back significantly to the downside to eight dollars mainly because they're expanding they have their cars in the united states specifically in texas and garland dfw area so you can definitely go there and drive their cars and reserve if you want to buy these stocks you know so they're expanding within the u.s that's why the mainly the stock decided to spike up a pullback now it's providing a good opportunity if you believe in the future of this company to get involved in it so you can definitely use the seven dollar area if you want to get involved in it because that is why the support over here, it's right around over here. So we'll see exactly what's going to be coming out for this company in the future too. Now the last stock that we're going to be looking at is going to be ticker symbol AYRO. There's been a lot of hype in this company. I've been getting a lot of questions about this company in the past. As you can see over here, it has really good support at $4 because the price tested it like three times and it seems like it's respecting it. However, if it breaks down below the $4, it can definitely go down to the area over here, which is $2. So we definitely need to keep an eye on it. But if you believe in the company in the future, this is a great discount to get involved in it. And if you believe that the stock is definitely going to have a potential for the future, this is the right time to get involved in it because it's having a solid pullback, guys. So, And also, we all had a new company that recently IPO'd from China, which is Li Auto, the ticker symbol LI. It just IPO'd recently $16.50 and it went up 12.39%. Now it's down to $16.89. So, so the cars that this company manufactures is a hybrid. So that is going to be one of the downsides of this company. It's not fully electric. After it IPO'd, it hit, went up 12.39%. Now it's pulling back to the downside a little bit. So if you believe in the company, if you do more research on it, this is a great opportunity to get involved in it because it recently just came right at the IPO price point over here. So all of these companies are in our watch list. We're going to be keeping an eye on them and posting updates as frequently as possible because this is the sector that a lot of people are interested in and they want to stay up to date about each of these companies. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, you should drop in the comment section below. I appreciate you guys, but I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Have a wonderful day.